Okay. I'd like to do the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, folks, we're going to go into executive session, which is on the agenda. Uh, we need time to talk to our professionals before we go any further in this meeting. So at this time, I'm going to ask you all to step outside while we confer with the professionals in the matter of litigation and such. Okay? I wonder if it would be easier if we step out. Probably. Maybe we could step out. I'm not sure we can do that. I'm going to Okay, we need a vote to go into executive session. I'll make the motion to go into executive session. I'll second. Aye. 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 Okay. Down keys? Okay. Well, where's the chief? Is he here? Thank you. You want to announce if anybody lost keys? Yeah, since everybody's in here. I think so. Let's do it. We can make a motion to get this started. We found a set of keys. If somebody's lost some, they'll be up here on the counter. It's a, it's a Mercedes. You got it. Okay. Anybody's looking for a Mercedes. The hey, chief, you got lost them found? They're right here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to make a motion to come out of executive. I'll make the motion. Second, you second? Second. Oh, I'll second. I'll <laughs> 
Okay. Um, attorney Drill, do you want to? Yes. So, um, County Planner Beth McManus and I, I'm the Special Affordable Housing Council for the Township. I also happen to be the attorney for the Land Use Board. We just met with the County Committee about over a little over an hour and a half. Did you speak in a microphone or something? We're having a little bit of a hearing this afternoon. What are you up, by the way? I am the attorney for the Special Affordable Housing Council for the Township yeah, Committee, and I'm also the attorney for the Land Use Board. Beth McManus sitting next to me is the Township Planner. Ms. McManus and I just met with the Township Committee for over an hour and a half to discuss the affordable housing situation. In the closed session, the Township Committee determined that when it came back into open session, it was going to consider four motions. So I'm going to read each motion and then ask them to vote on the motion. The first motion is to authorize the Special Affordable Housing Council, John Drill, to engage in a dialogue with the Florida Peruzzi Law Firm to see if any affordable housing options are available on other lots in the township and for the mayor to appoint two people from the township committee and for the chairman of the land use board to appoint three people from the land use board to a subcommittee to work with Mr. Drill as well as with planner Beth McManus. That's the first motion. I'm going to read all four and then have separate votes and I'm going to explain what the township committee thinking is on this. The second motion, and I'll give you, you can make a copy of this so you can put it right into the minutes just to make sure that the minutes are accurate. The second motion is to postpone the hearings scheduled for tonight on ordinance numbers 3-2018 and 4-2018 indefinitely and until a new notice is provided in order to allow the township to explore additional affordable housing options and potentially to adopt a revised housing element and fair share plan and revised and or additional ordinances. The third motion is to hold an informational meeting on July 26, 2018, starting at 7.30 p.m. at the Greenwich Elementary School for an affordable housing presentation to be given by Ms. McManus, followed by a question and answer session with Ms. McManus and myself on affordable housing issues in the township. The fourth motion is to authorize the Deputy Mayor to sign an amended settlement agreement tonight, which was signed by Fair Share Housing Center on July 17, 2018, which extends the time within which the township has to adopt implementing ordinances to November 15, 2018. Those are the four motions. The theory and thinking behind the four motions is that the township received a letter with a potential offer, depending on how you look at it and depending on what the township ultimately does, to either move a portion or all of the affordable housing from the Dumont Road site to another site on the other side of 78. Again, being considered, nothing is a done deal until it's considered, but a portion or all of the affordable housing to another site. And these motions are necessary in order to get the time that the township can consider that, because right now, their settlement agreement that was signed with Fair Share Housing, and which was approved by the Superior Court of New Jersey, on December 22nd requires these ordinances to be adopted and without the extension they'd be in violation of the settlement agreement and the court order. So those are the four motions. Not just exploring that other op, it's also exploring other options, correct? Yes. So it's not just we're exploring the... I didn't specifically mention a particular site. I said exploring options to move a portion or all of the affordable housing from Dumont Road onto some other site okay. on the other side of Route 78. That's what the motion said. Got it. So does someone want to make motion number one? I'll make the motion. I'll I'll motion second. number one. I'll second it. Yes. 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 Someone want to make motion number two? I'll make it motion number two. I'll second. Yes. 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 
Well, why make motion number three? I'll make it three. Second. Yes. 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 Does someone want to make motion number four? Thank you. I'll make motion number four. A second. Yes. 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 I'm going to ask the deputy mayor to sign these agreements. I'm going to scan them when I get back to my office tonight. I'm going to email them so it can be made available for any member of the public to look at tomorrow. So everybody's clear. The town's considering other options. So. Time out, though. We're going to have public comment, though. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you should be here for public comment. Okay. 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 Ok
positions, in fact, depending on the amount of our town, and we have to question our mindset. It's something that will last for several hours. But guess what? We got things all. We come here, we, we just talk, we don't know what you guys think or what we talk about, and then we talk about your business. And every time we find out, well, it was the previous administration that had this problem. And then, when, when you guys go, the new administration comes and says, well, the previous one did it. So it's always the other guy. It just got to guess who's paying the bill. We are paying the bill. You too, because you guys also rent them. So please give us some consideration. We have expertise here. We can give you input. We can give you a different point of view. But you have to engage us. Somebody said um, in one of the local, uh, what do you call, uh, posting boards that, you know, we have to come to the meeting so we provide input to you folks because you're not experts and you cannot be experts in everything. Agreed. But how can we know what to participate on if we don't get us engaged? Concerning this issue, I'll just sit because I may not do this, but I'll say right now. Concerning this issue, things are very simple. This matter is very complicated. What you guys put out, you must get, you must get three days this and then still some to get out of X.1. The issue, when issues are complex like this, what you do at first is, you state what the, what the law is. Then you state what your conclusions or action plan is. You state what the assumptions are clearly. And then you ask people to provide input. Ask. That did not happen. What, we, what I saw, what I read was the Q&A, and I've not read all of it, forgive me, because I've got to take several hours to read that. And that requires reading other documents to understand where I come to that, 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 that was meaning. <coughs> Mm -hmm. It was not clear. It was a lot of assumptions. A lot, a lot, a lot of uh, uh, stretch to the point. Right, of sir, your point's well taken. There's a lot of people in here that need to speak tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Someone else want to come up and speak? Otherwise, I'm going to close open public comment.
My wife makes me plant flowers. <laughs> I want to have neighbors that want to cut their grass, that want to live there, and that care about the community, that are going to pay taxes. People here just want a voice. We want some different options. And you know what? If I'm a low-income resident, I don't want to be packed in to one little cornfield of an area, 10 acres, and, and not feel like I'm part of a larger community. Because what? I'm, I'm in between Lowe's, and I'm in between the rest of the beautiful neighborhood that we have here. I understand we don't want to make this inclusive and open this up to a sprawling development. I understand that. But this solution is not right. We need to spread this out. We need to get the density down. We can't have 100% rent. It does not make sense in this town. We're going to change the entire shape and complexion of it. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate your uh, conversation. Anyone else wishing to speak? All right, without... Uh, uh, Andrea Sherlock, I live at 204, Yvonne Way. I live right next to Brad. Um, and I will also say the shock and all that, I, that my life has become since June 6th to June 18th um, has been amazing. I... Chiefs will take care of it. Do the best you can over top of it. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. The Chiefs going to take care of it. Um, one other comment. I, I, I echo the comments that were made prior that we needed to involve the community at large in this decision. There are many complex factors, as Brad and others have stated. That said, we need to grow this community. We have to become competitive. Each one of us has seen a neighbor leave or no jobs, no growth, and the overall solution. That was that concern for most of the neighbors that I've talked to with this happening. I think we also have to think about the kids and the family. I'd just like to share a little bit on a personal level. To Brad's point about pride in our yard, I made, made good investments, made it nice for my family. I have people walking up to my daughters and telling them their trees are going to get cut down. I have people saying, you should have known, you've lived over there, this has been in the plan since 2010. Really? Uh, I mean, it's a, the scourge that's been brought on our side has actually been very shocking to me. Um, I agree with what Brad's saying. The entire, entire community needs to solve this problem. Regardless of what community, what issues have been there in the past, let's use this as an opportunity to unify us as a community. I have gotten to know neighbors. I've gotten to know lots of people. And I say the benefit out of this is I've learned how much you actually need to find a way to get here to town for many, many you too. But you guys have to put notices out. You have to provide fact based information. Um, because you can't make intelligent decisions if people don't have the facts. Thank All right, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, no, Chief, we're going to have to take care of it. Yeah. I understand that. Now you need a key to turn it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? All right. Do you want to move the podium? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably Maybe guys, can anybody move that podium over this side? Some, somebody, do we want to move that podium over until it fixes it? Yeah, just take the microphone. Yeah. All right. Just move the microphone. Amy. Amy Yeah. What did you do? Did you just close the door? That was it? Or did uh, you I don't know. Can you yeah. just close the door? Yeah. Nobody tried that? Okay. Oh, good. I'm good. Uh, I want to address an area that's specific to what I do. Uh, I'm a mental health counselor. I began practicing independently in 1991. 
worked with a variety of populations, including low-income individuals. I've worked in the criminal justice system for a while. You name it, I've probably seen it. Oh, I, well, I've also worked with sex offenders. Most of my career in the criminal justice system. In any event, the particular topic I would like to briefly address is the idea of including people. There's tons, there's a body of research to show that when people are walled off, when they're physically walled off uh, from everybody else, then they're much less likely to uh, become involved in the community because there's that physical barrier. Um, on the other side, folks, existing residents, are probably less likely to seek out the new folks. Uh, so there's that lack of interaction, and again, that lack of interaction is going to decrease their, their ability or desire to you know, become part of our community. The way that I see community is that it's not all about one person, one neighborhood. Community is all about a lot of people working together you know, in harmony to create a community where we all feel valued and happy, you know, as happy as we can be. We all feel welcomed and valued. Putting those folks off all by themselves with those physical barriers, uh, the streets, the busy streets, that in my thinking does not send the message, hey, we care about you, we want to meet you. So my idea is, you know, kind of work them around in the community. Find places where they're not stigmatized, you know, because again, putting them off all by themselves, there might be this um, stigma or this notion, oh, that's where all the poor people live. And, you know, for, you know, most of our community is existing. Well, wait, that didn't make sense. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, people right now coming into our community. Okay? So everybody knows what the situation is. Uh, and I don't want to see any stigma attached to one particular community. That's not going to help anybody. Right. Amy, could you wrap it up, please? Oh, sure, sure. I'll, I'll just finish it with what I think is maybe the most important statement is that community is not about just one person, just one neighborhood, not just one group. It's about a bunch of folks who work together, uh, you know, cooperatively to create an environment where everybody feels like they have, bad, you know, they're valued, um, they're welcome, and everyone is able to contribute to society. Thank you, Amy. All right. Thank you. My name is Eric Bobbin. I live at Lincoln Drive. Uh, storage mill over Greenwich Streets. Uh, unlike a lot of the people here, I've only been here for a little bit over a year. I can say I'm very upset with the communication that's gone on. I never seen the missing tax bill, but I didn't know about this until June 6. I'm not an attorney, so I probably need more time than that gentleman in figuring out the QA. Something needs me done. So if the property developer gets the land for one dollar and they don't pay taxes for 30 years, and it's low income housing that's not going to have income contributing to the small businesses. A hundred extra kids coming to the schools that we pay taxes on. Show me the benefit. Why should we do anything to help this and not vehemently be opposed to this? I have no issue with the low income housing. My family members who were in, I was in it when I was in it. But explain to me why we shouldn't be at every turn trying to try and stop this. There's no benefit to it. Everything is given to them, and the people who are here now paying twelve thousand dollars taxes. What do we get out of it? Except neighbors in my backyard that I really don't need to look at their apartment building. Anyone else wishing to speak? No one more here. Uh, well, there's another gentleman here. All right. Uh, my name is Gary Hunter, 520 Madison Drive. Um, I think you all deserve some credit for taking the time to consider all this public outcry and to create more options. So I thank you for that. The communication should be a little better. I think some of that. I think we all agree. But I think we heard you loud and clear, and that's 100%. I agree with everything about communication. It was not communicated properly. 
I don't think anybody here is going to say it was. So, uh, as far as a member of the township, I mean, you know, I personally apologize for that not being handled right. So, um, since you have created more time and since you are exploring more options, I would ask that in parallel with exploring that, you do a little bit better job of uh, studying the impacts of the options that you will come to so that when this comes up again, we have a better idea of what the impact would be. So instead of us trying to figure out on our own through poor Googling or good Googling, um, what other communities have done, mm -hmm. we have a better quantified expectation of what these options that you create for it. Yeah, to that point, though, there is somewhat of a deadline that we're working sure. under. So, um, to the best of your ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Matt Snodgrass. I live at 1611 Adams Drive. So I'm the that's the A lot of you guys know me. So if you don't, you've probably seen a lot of the stuff I post. I like to thank these men who have dedicated so much of their time, like you said, on top of having jobs. It's not easy. I know you guys didn't want to flag from all of us and still have other things to do. So I do appreciate it. Thank you. I said before, everything I've said was personal. Just in line of duty, right? So, coming on, I know you've already done a hundred times on this, but uh, communication, key, right? You've heard it all from all of us. We had more people outside and trying to get into people we That was all done within a month. If all of us were involved in this, like you've been told a hundred times, you would get you would have had a lot more buying. I would have been a lot easier. And if we mm -hmm. felt like we had some kind of proof of it, well, we wouldn't have this. And, like it's also been brought up a couple times today, basically helping people with their seats and tell them to get out, which was a set part of the time. That's how a lot of people felt when they were complaining about the first time. It doesn't go over the world. And like I said in a lot of my books, and when I talk to some of you guys, it kind of comes down to perception, right? First impressions. A lot of people here, it's the first time they see it, even the second time. So a lot of these impressions, they stick. For good or bad, I don't know any of you personally, but a lot of the opinions that we form are based on the impact of us, your constituents, the people that actually went voting. And I know you understand that, and you know, you know that, which is why we just have so much fun. A lot of us think that one day we might want to sit up, so we're looking to you to see how you can do it. That's how we're going to have it. Because that's what we want. We want our community to grow. We want our community to feel provide for each other, right? We all get family. That's what town is about. That's why we're community together. That's how I feel. Now, we have some options. Thank you. That's what we want. We want to see different things. We want to see the best. That's all we so this is perfect. I'd like to thank you guys. I'd like to thank all of you for coming out. Please remember, it's left up to us to come to these meetings. This is our meeting. They tell us what's happening. If we don't show, they don't know. They don't know. They're going to come up with their own. Also on that, this is the first time I've owned a house. So as a renter, for 18 months to two years, everywhere I've been, I've traveled the country, getting told what to do for the I always got something in the mail telling me that something has happened in my even though I was just asking. This community, most of us don't ever want to come. Maybe 25 cents, 35, whatever it is now. That's great. Would be best spent just to tell us what's happened. Spend a lot of money on other people and experts, right? You have a lot of ex experts in your back room. It's a lot of subject matter experts that can help you out. For 35, 40 cents. Of the chunk change. We can come in here and tell you what we think. Maybe some of those ideas. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
they're not going to do things that are going up. They're going down. Right? So houses, which is sad because families have left houses. My own neighbor, and that's what in his house, they say, well, then, no, he left his house. Left his house with a young kid. So the community is growing. I don't see it growing. I see a lot of businesses leaving. And we have kids that you want to stay in this community and help build it. The kids are staying because there's nothing for them. There's no uh, training for the kids. Toys R Us is closed down. I used to work with Toys R Us. They closed down. And you're bringing low-income housing to do what? What does it benefit our kids? You want these kids to take care of the community. What are you going to do? Sit around and do nothing like everybody else. Because there's no growth. Think about the growth. Think about our children. Me? It says, I, I can easily say, okay, Papa, this boy came from New York. New York is huge. We do things in New York. We do them big. We do them for our kids. Because we want them to stay and build, build. We want them to build. There's nothing here anymore. I mean, I go in a shop in Lehigh Valley. I spend my money in Pennsylvania. There's no community clubs. There's no pools. There's nothing here. But you want to bring low-income housing, but you're not thinking about the effects of that on our kids. And the community doesn't it doesn't bring anything to us. It doesn't bring anything. Thank can, you. Can I respond to it? I just want to make one quick response to that. Um, maybe you, uh, we were at the previous uh, meeting that we had on this uh, here. I didn't even know there was a meeting. Okay, so maybe you're not aware. So, so this is not an option. Nobody here wants to bring in affordable housing. Now, there's debate on how and where it should be, and that's a good debate, and I'm, I'm personally happy that everybody's here. Um, but I just want to clarify something. There's a state mandate that you have to bring in affordable housing, and they give you a number. So we don't have a choice. We're either gonna, our choices are limited, let me put it that way. So it's not like anybody here wants to bring it in. This is being forced on us by the state. I just want to make that clear. Well, as you heard, we just we just stated that we're looking at other options. Yes, but I don't think they're going to. I'm on the mental health. I'm on the water. So, come on, come on. I'm on the water. I'm on the mental health board. Are there things that we do? Yes, you have to have private meetings to do stuff. But ultimately, you have to let, other, let us know in the community what's going on. And I never knew about this. I mean, I'm involved in the community. Yep, yep. I'm involved. Yeah, we acknowledge that. I mean, that's been acknowledged uh, a few I'm times today. I agree with you. I'm very involved in the school. With yep. Everything. The only thing I'm not, it's not I'm doing in this community is being a teacher, but I've been there doing all the things in the community. Yep. I, said, I don't want to leave this community and go to Pennsylvania and help Pennsylvania out. I live here. I want to help this community. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I'm David Turner, 415 Maxwell Drive, so it's still for the FUR. A couple of points. I'm um, hearing everybody uh, talk tonight, and I agree with uh, a lot of what's being said. I just want to raise the, the point of advertising to others, other counties in New Jersey, to bring people in for this affordable housing. I believe Warren County has enough people in it that we can draw from the mainland community if we need to to uh, meet the, the mandate, the state mandate, instead of advertising outside of our area. So I'd like to hey, John, John, get an answer. bring that up. And I'd also like to consider additional options to the rental situation, rent to own. Or, or purchase uh, might be a little bit more uh, beneficial to the community. And if we spread the development out in different areas, or even look into the possibility of uh, looking at foreclosed homes that are the right size and shape and putting people in those and getting those back into uh, you know, habitable conditions might be even better. Um, I know that the, the mayor of Phillipsburg has 900 homes that they own because the banks gave them Phillipsburg. And there might be some way that we can work with folks where we can move some of the requirements that we Thank you. John, can, can, I've heard about this advertising. To, can you address that? So, the mandate that he mentioned, it is a Supreme Court to Mount Laurel II decision mandate that all municipalities provide their fair share of the reasons made for affordable housing. The legislature then passed the Fair Housing Act in 1985, which created the Council on Affordable Housing. 
which was working up until about 15 years ago. And you probably read in the paper that's when the New Jersey Supreme Court came in and dissolved the Council on Affordable Housing Administrative Practice and put all the municipalities into court. But the Council on Affordable Housing rules that they adopted for the second round in 1993 are the rules that we're operating under. Those rules have two requirements in response to what you said, and that's what I think Mr. Marquette had asked me about. First of all, you're not allowed to just affirmatively market for your town or for your county. Affirmative marketing has to be statewide. There's nothing we can do about it. And the second point that he mentioned was... No buying for close homes. Yeah. Up until 2008, municipalities could send half of their obligation to another municipality. They could send it to Phillipsburg. In 2008, the legislature amended the Fair Housing Act to prohibit that. It's a phenomenal idea, but we can't do it anymore. Can we challenge the advertising of that? Just so you know, this municipality, I was one of the attorneys that argued in the New Jersey Supreme Court. If you look at the Mount Laurel IV opinion, these guys coupled up with three other municipalities. They pooled their money to pay me to argue that case. And there were three other, two other attorneys representing different municipal interests. We lost the case. Not because of what we did. It's because COA didn't do anything. So when you ask me, could we argue? Yes. In my opinion, you'd be throwing good money after bad because we're not going to get the thing overturned. And it costs an awful lot of money. It would have to go all the way up to the Supreme Court. Can we create a program that allows us to work with better advertising, better outreach, and more accounting while still meeting the requirements of the law? Put it this way. I don't know. As I sit here, it's an interesting idea. We will definitely look into it. Yeah, write that one down. Yeah, write that one. Good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just need to say one thing. In hearing this. My name is Abigail Sparks. I live at 406 Daniel Drive, Stevensville, New Jersey. In hearing what I'm hearing tonight, I think that exercising the option to spread it out is the best option. To Rhonda's point, I'm also from New York City. And in New York, they've done exactly that. We had massive projects, we call them. And they've torn down these locations and spread it out all over New York City. So affordable housing exists. I know how it works. HUD was a huge program that was very successful in New York City. But they've taken down massive, massive monstrosities and spread out around the city. And those people are thriving and living in a very thriving city. So I think that's what I want to see here. If we must bring this, we have to make sure that it's spread out. That it's equitable for the people that live here and are conducive and, you know, contribute to the community. And ensure that those people can also contribute and thrive in this community. So that's my only point. Thank you. Thank you. No, can't. We're going to have the Q&A. So we're going to have a Q&A meeting. Yeah. The Q&A. You just asked me to answer that one question tonight. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to speak? I just have a question. Name, address. Chris Blanchfield, 701 Jacksonville. When we were here last time, we were told we needed to come to this meeting to speak to this expert. So I just, I'm just confused why. No, actually. That was what we talked about. It was a process, but we need to be in a much larger venue. And you have to have a lot more information, which we can't do that here, which is why there's another meeting that's been created just for that purpose. At the school. At the school. I'm just saying. What's your question? Yeah. You got one question? Yeah, sure. Last time when we were here, we were communicated that we couldn't get the answers. We couldn't get further explanation because we didn't have an expert here. A lot of people have been missed and forgotten about. And I'm just wondering if you could just give us a little bit more information. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure
to be here, and now we're being told to another. It's just going on to communication. So as, the same thing is happening. as John Jewell stated, between last meeting and now, there were new developments. There were things that fell into our lap that we're looking into, that we're researching. So that's why we thought it was best to go ahead. You heard the motions, right? The town's exploring these other options. I think everybody's happy with that. Um, we think it's better to move ahead on that, and we're going to have the special meeting. So. If you have a question, I'm not opposed to one more extra question. Can we still have, there's a lot of people here, for us to get some information now? I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed. She's a very important person that we can get from here from. So if we can get more explanation on some of the different problems as we know them, I think it would be more acceptable. I'm okay with it. No, no, I don't know. Right. Right. That's what it's set up for. Right. Right. Anyone else with a question? Right. 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 else wishing to speak? Okay, seeing motion none, I'd like to motion to close public comment. No, I'll make a move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, public comment is now closed. Okay, now we need to get on to some regular business. Yes. Bye. Thank you very much. Twenty six, seven thirty, seven thirty. You want to take a five-minute recess? Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a five-minute recess. Uh, I need a motion. Make a motion to recess for five minutes. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah.
Okay, I'd like to come back into session. It's really cold. And our next piece of business is the recommendation from the Greenwich Township Land Use Board that the old Greenwich School be designated by the Township Committee as an area uh, in need of redevelopment. Um, like I don't need to read this whole resolution on here. We can just move forward and adopt it. We've all looked at this. I right, so can I get a motion on recommending? I make the motion. I'll second. Yes. 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 Okay. Next piece of business is we need to review and adopt our 2018 employee handbook and personal policies that were updated by the state of New Jersey and I believe OSHA. Mal, okay. So, could I get a motion to accept the changes for the handbook? I'll make a motion to make the changes to the handbook. I'll, I'll second, second it. it. Okay. No, I'll third it. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, for the record, uh, Committeeman uh, Will Spencer needed to leave. And is no longer with us for the balance of this meeting. Nine twenty-five or so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, approval of the regular meeting minutes for the April nineteenth meeting. Um, just a, can I ask a question? Did you go through these, Kathleen? I know because I think you were taking the notes. I did. I left my notes with uh, Lisa. I didn't go play read it, but. Are you, you're okay with it? Where's that? Where is that in the agenda? Uh, uh, you are. You, you need the orange, orange one. one. <laughs> you need the orange one. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Any other questions, comments, decisions? If not, uh, let's have a motion. Um, I do have a comment. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I. No, no comment. Good. You guys are just for April. 19th. April nineteenth. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of April 19th. And I will second it. Yes. 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 I will have to have seen that. It's the next one. I'm not get a chance to read it on the 21st. So I have to table it. Okay. So we're going to have to table the minutes for June 21st because we... Yeah, those eligible to vote, yeah. Well, uh, two yeah, members are going to abstain. Yeah, yeah. I was absent at the last meeting, right. so I can't approve it. Uh, Treasury report and bill list. I had two changes to the bills list. Uh, the Samson concrete, we need to adjust down to... Uh, I had it at 18.130. That was the first voucher that I saw a few days ago. Since then, there's been some adjustments. It's now, uh, I believe the correct amount was $14,719.60. And we also got a communication today to pay Earthworks. I believe it pays them in full money. Yeah. Okay. Earthworks. Now, that, that would be conditional upon attorney labor approving the maintenance bond. And that amounts to twelve thousand seven hundred thirty-eight dollars and twenty-five cents to add to the bills. And I need to see. Can you repeat the uh, change on the Samson? I get it written down. It went from eighteen one thirty even yeah. down to fourteen thousand seven nineteen point sixty. And again, the change was for the change was for my reduction in his request <coughs> because he wanted 100% for the flashing beacon signs. And I told him since we still don't have final approval from the county on that, that I was I would suggest 80%. So that's okay. the difference. Okay. And then just on that mic real quick, in there there's all the other signs that are supposed to go in, like stop signs were listed. Do we have those? I mean, did he, did, are they at the site? Yes. And some are, some are up. Uh, there's others that, that just the sign is there, 
But there's still additional signage and so forth, so but, I didn't. But I just want to make sure the ones we're paying him for, he physically has there. Yes, that, yes. We're not paying him for ones that he hasn't no, purchased. No, no. No, we aren't. Right. And Mike, I have another uh, okay. question. So I'm going to try not to make this. Um, in his contract, uh, I, there was $7,000 worth of silt fence for an install. I haven't seen it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Your inspectors and yourself saw that amount of silt fence go up? A lot of that silt fence ball is actually, well, most of it is kind of blown down now, but... Yeah, but I'm, that, everything that I'm saying is from Earthworks, though. It's by the school. And that's where it is. That's where this the walkway to the school, if you go and look on the school property, there are silk fence that line that walkway. That's the majority of it. There was some other silk fence he put, repositioned, if you will, in all the way in the back. Uh, and so forth. So, no, that was all. You, you're comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. But also, I think, Mike, if on the on the uh, spreadsheet of the completion, because I remember you mentioned this, so I went and looked. I think we've only paid, it's like 4000 4000 but he's asking for some more for that tonight. Yeah. Was that part of it? But is that part of the 14000 I didn't think no. he was asking for any more of it. Oh, I thought I saw 1000 no, no, no. and change. The, the money we're paying him tonight is basically uh, for two things. 80% of the flat, the, the pedestrian crossing signs, one on 638, and uh, signs. There's uh, the advanced pedestrian crossing sign, pedestrian crossing sign, there's uh, and we've paid him how much so far on the silk fence? Isn't it like 4800 Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. How much just in the van this morning that I saw then? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Uh, we paid him. Jeez. Uh, we paid him for, I'd say, about 80% roughly. Um, the contract quantity is fifteen five thousand nine hundred forty dollars. We paid them, and this goes back to so quite a few thousand now. Four thousand eight hundred. Okay. Okay. Can I have a motion to? Uh, any more comments? Yeah. Can I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report and bill list, please? I'll make the motion. Second. Yes. 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 Okay. And we turn to the next page. If you want to do the. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, uh, the year-to-date budget expenditure report. Absolutely. That was. You want to do this last? No. No. Yeah, I was you guys have a copy of it? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't either. I went through every line item today. We, with legal OE, here are my concerns. Legal OE, planning board OE, and gasoline. Gasoline is down to $14,000 already. Planning board OE is already overexpended, and legal OE has $27,000 left. Every other line item is right at the cusp of what, when I project out, you're going to spend all of it. That being said, in this bills list, there's a $300,000 tax appeal payment. That's going to be a direct hit to your surplus. The only way you're regenerating any surplus is to not spend what you budget. So. I think we need to find a way to somehow work in this budget, not spending all of it. And I don't know if that's possible. Well, and, and I think the uh, I think that's challenging. With that being said, um, I've asked Eloise, and she's going to look into it. That if the Inland Western folks would take payments over a, a period of time, so that it doesn't come out in one single shot. Um, so hopefully we'll have an answer on that soon. Um, 
But unfortunately, with that being said, the only place that money can come from is our surplus. Right. Right. And short of the deferred school tax or, and I, I'm under the impression we couldn't even bond for it regardless. Right. So it's one of those two sources. So uh, it's going to come out of the surplus. Mm -hmm. Let's just hopefully we don't have to do it on all in one shot. And I will get you this information. I was kind of working with Brad a little bit mm -hmm. on this. So um, I will email this to everybody so that you're seeing what, what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, going forward then in the future packets, I will give you uh, the summary and also some additional detail that Brad is requesting that it would be of interest to And And you said the gas were a little tight on. Was it because gas is up? I think so. Joe sent us something today. Yeah, he gave us uh, the order list and of over the last month, because I, I asked the same question, I'm like, is it, how much of it's price, how much of it's utilization? So, just need to look at the, the gallon usage and just, yeah, you know, I don't know if right. utilization is up because we have more vehicles now. And yeah, the winter was heavy, so they did more plows this year. Kind of the land use board, you said they were. Did a lot of that go? Can they take a lot of that out of the color? I, I took everything I could out of the color. Um, yeah. Legal was uh, the January. January. Oh, January. That was down here fifty thousand dollars. Fifty fifty five. Yes, and it continues right. Um, there's still associated costs with it. Yeah, I think what we need to do is maybe. Well, once, and I know you have some entries to, to, to do, and once you have that, we should have this for next month. You can go through it in a little more detail, and maybe you can give us a sense of what you think in your estimation, how much we need to kind of not spend to cover some of the other items that we think are going to, well, it's not that we're not spending it. We're not going to spend it over here, but we're going to have to spend it over here. Okay, with that being said, uh, any more comments? Did we ever think about setting, are you setting up some kind of subcommittee on I mean, we were supposed to set up subcommittee and start looking at next year's budget. Anyway, I think uh, we can take on this too. Yeah, and that's actually conversations coming up oh, okay. later on in there. So maybe this would be something good we could add to. Yep. All right. <laughs> I'm already getting possibly add to a subcommittee. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to have a motion on accepting the uh, expenditure budget report. I'll make the well, motion. Wait, I don't think we need a motion. For this. Uh, you don't? No. Okay. Start. Okay. I withdraw my motion. Then we're good. Okay. Uh, next, the tax collector's report, uh, which it's all in front of you from Bonnie. I'd like to make a motion to accept the tax collector's report. Any comments or discussion? Nope. All right, then I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Yes. 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 Uh, police department. That's usually will, but the chief is the chief is here. So, chief, would you like to get up and give us? Well, just a point of clarification: the tax the report and the senior report, or do we have to do a separate motion on that? Oh, so that cup, so that motion is to cover both. Just a point of clarify. Fifteen adult arrests, two juvenile arrests, one drunk driving arrest, 134 summonses, 132 warnings, and uh, for overtime costs and issues. Our overtime, uh, our calculations are approximately. Uh, Ten thousand one hundred sixty-six dollars fifty-one cents for the month of June. Uh, compared to the last year, June of 2017, which was twenty thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars eighty-two cents, uh, we were roughly at forty thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars seventy-five cents for the year in overtime. Uh, last year, we were at at this point seventy-nine thousand thirteen dollars twenty-four cents. So we're still about. Uh, 50% down. And then clearly I just broke down exactly what everything was that went out for overtime for that month that you have in the back. Is there any questions? Or no? Nope. 
a good job on the uh, team. Thank you. Thank you. All right. With that being said, can I get a motion to accept the police report? I'll make a motion to accept the police report. Second. Yes. 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 All right. Will's not here. Joe's not here. Um, we all have a copy of it in front of us. Is there any questions? For the do we, or do we want to just table this until next month? This is for the uh, uh, DPW uh, Public Works monthly report. I, I went through that. I was fine. I'm okay with it. I, I was okay with it, too. So with that being said, I'd like to make a motion to accept the uh, Public Works. I'll make a motion. Second. Yes. 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 And I, I just want to make a comment, even though Joe's not here, but um, I just want to say thank you to him because I know him, Joe, and uh, a lot of guys from his crew have been really helping out on some uh, additional work that's needed to be done at the park. And uh, even in a couple times, you know, you don't have to work a chance to work directly with them because we did some work up there together as well too. So I just wanted to say thank you. They're really great to work with and uh, they've been doing a heck of a job helping us out up at the park. So it's I mean, I mean, if I could just add something because I, I spoke with Joe on this point myself directly yesterday, I think. Uh, they're making a huge difference out there yep. and they really deserve exactly what Brad said. They're, they're, they're doing a great job and really helping that project move forward the way it has been. Great way. So, yeah. And we're talking about Thomas Stewart Park. So yes, yes. the DPW yeah. work at this park, yes. Okay. Uh, next. Um, Can I just interrupt one minute? I forgot to add that uh, National Night Out for us in August on the 7th uh, of August, Tuesday, from 5 to 8, we're going to be having at the Greenwich Township School. So uh, anybody that would like to attend the... The Wyndham yeah. Farms School, Chief? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's the date again? The 7th of August? The 7th of August, yes, from 5 to 8. Uh, and uh, we did receive a grant from Target, so that will pay for more than everything, uh, as well as uh, the... A donation that uh, ShopRite gives us every year that covers all the food, and the, uh, they're also doing help with that. So. Thank you. Hi. Thanks. Maybe we should have our Q&A <laughs> at the Senate, <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll get a ton of people there, Steve. Okay. okay. Uh, all right, moving on to the court report. Um, I'd like to make a... Call under DPW, the equipment to the auction. I think we need your blessing on Oh. I did not see that. I mean, I saw I it here, but... I don't I have anything except that there's a piece of equipment that I guess it's been decided is no longer useful to the town, and they want to take it to the auction, but it has to know by next week. Um, what about the three police cars? Is that also what he's referring to? I didn't have, say anything about police cars. I have an auction list together. Uh, Joe said that he needs that by the 27th. So... Um, I don't know how that's all. What, what piece of the I think he's going to need by the 27th presented. Why don't we just address it on the 26th? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll address that on the 27th. Okay. All right. So we'll address Joe's piece of equipment because we don't know what it is. At the meeting on the 26th? We have a meeting on the 26th. Would that be enough time? You can't just do general business at that special meeting unless it's noticed that way. What is the piece of equipment? Does anybody know? Does it cost any more to notice it that way? That it's a Q&A in general business? So we just notice it that way. I don't think John Bill would approach. Um, I think that, I think that so we're we're I think we're going to have everything in the August meeting because that county auction, I think, is in September, maybe. Yeah, but the letter said that the, they had the mailbox July 27th. Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Chalton did that right now. Yeah. All right. All right, so we'll table that for a moment. Table, maybe if we can get an answer by the end of the night, we can. Yeah. Right. Prove it. No, no, right, sure. It wasn't on his. But. No, I no, I just looked through it. I didn't see it. I thought I looked before. Well, and I guess Joe didn't know that Will wasn't going to be here. So. Okay. We'll uh, get that straightened out. Okay. Uh, with that being said, uh, 
poor report. Comments, discussion? Nope. No. Uh, with that being said, can I have a motion to accept the court report? I'll make a motion to accept the June court report. A second. Yes. 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 I got a question about all these motions to accept all these reports. I don't, I don't recall ever doing this in the past. Is this something that needs to be done? No, because no, I recall, well, at least since I've been on the board. Yeah, I know, but I'm it. talking about when I was on way back. Way back. Yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm okay doing it if we want to do it, but... Uh, hey. yeah, or you can do a consent agenda, agenda where you yeah, yeah. them all as motions, and then what you do is say, okay, I'm going to ask for a motion for... You know, 2018 one through 2018 yeah. 20. Does anybody want to put that? Yeah, no, I, I'm all on board with that. Sure. Okay. Uh, next time around, we'll try to put that yeah, in practice. If you have an issue on one of them, you could have like that particular right. one pulled out, and then both the other ones through if there's no issue. Okay. Likewise, you can accept both. Well, just a thought. I mean, no, no, it's a, no. I, that, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I've always thought it was a little. <laughs> but a little much. Anyway, so. All right, so when we're really down to, I guess we'll finish the routine though tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Board of Health reports, which is actually something fairly new, that unless there's just usually not reports, I haven't really seen any of these on a month-to-month-to-month -to -month -to -month basis. Yeah, I was wondering the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Granted, I've only been here six months, but. Uh, no, 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 no. That's fine. It's just that I haven't seen them before, so they just kind of cropped up, and I'm like, but I just thought maybe they had something to report. <laughs> so, I mean, it, do you know, is it something that they only do on like a semi-annual basis, or is it? Monthly. They send it to every town every month. I'm just looking at it. I just to I know that. Okay. Yeah, this is, that's the, the standard report they send out every town. Right. I just looked okay. at it. Uh, never. We don't have to. No, nope, we don't have to. Do. I don't think we have to do anything with it. Um, and Will's not here, so we're down to animal control report. Comments, discussion? Nope. Can I make a motion? Oh. I just thought it was funny that someone reported a dead cat, but it was a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. With that being said, uh, a motion to accept the animal control report. I'll make a motion to accept the animal control report. Second. Yes. 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 Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. All right. I said um, it in my head. Committee reports. I'm not quite sure there's anything. I got one thing. Got it. Um, because of the meeting on the 26th, um, I think it would be good that we videotape it so that the whole town can see it, where we can't make it, the Q&A. And I got, a, uh, I got a cost that I'd like the township to approve if we all agree that this is something we should do. Um, Dave DeBoer who um, does a lot of photography locally. Um, I only know the name because I know he does stuff with Express Times and everything, and he lives here locally. So I reached out to him and I said, do you have a video equipment to do this? And he said, yes, he can have video equipment. He can sat and mic the whole place and video everything for a uh, cost of $250 for the first three hours and $50 for each additional half hour. I don't think we're going to go over the three hours, but we just put it in there in case. So. That would be, I mean, I mean, did, did you ask for that setup time? Where was that? Or did you said he would get there early. He would get there early in setup time. That cost for video, right? Not to, uh, I'll have to double check. I think he said he wasn't going to charge us for setup time, but I'll, I'll double check that. So I think we got to make a decision on that, though, because if we want to videotape, we're going to have to. Yeah, you could put a not to exceed number. Well, and, and I would yeah. put that in not to exceed okay. a little bit higher because yeah. I, I think three hours might be a little. I'd like to put it well, up he has the internet. Time meeting time. Well, uh, you have a meeting, um, meeting time, don't you? Yeah, we we, so we only have the school until 11, and I have to break it down. Got so it. We, okay. we need to really end the meeting at 10.30 so they can break the room down. Got it. I mean, can they extend it? I mean, I, I, mean, I can ask, but it's no. typically... Well, with that being said, then, Lisa, when we make notice for that tomorrow to the paper, be put specifically in there that there is a ending time? We, and we can... Yep. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely, how we're doing yeah. it. And Mike, the uh, setting a hard stop on a, I mean, this isn't a public meeting. It's like, oh, it is a public meeting, but it's not a, we're not 
uh, making decisions on town business. This is a purely a Q&A session, so yeah. any concerns about having a hard stop at 10.30? No. Right. I mean, you can do it. It's purely your discretion. So. Right. I mean, if we're... Now, if, the only problem is if you put a hard stop time in the notice, that's the hard stop time. So if you say it's 10.30 and then one more question and it goes beyond, you know, then we could run into some trouble. So I'm just, if 10.30 is the time, then 10.30 is the time. And, and ladies' sports, you guys don't do it all the time. They say we don't get any more testimony at 10 o'clock, but it's purely within your discretion. Right. Well, you know, I just, yeah, because I, I don't, I just want to make sure we're not going to be obligated to go beyond 10.30. Yeah. From, uh, if there was a need to continue it to another day or something else, right. then, yeah, I, I, I guess we would do a continuation if we so needed to. We have the school for 11 o'clock. You've got to be out of there. You've got to be out of there. Okay. Just keep it open at the time. It's one thing if it's town business and you got, you got to do it, but this isn't a hearing. It's a Q&A, so it's a little bit. Did we actually go on doing it on the 26th? No, we had to do it tonight. That's why it hasn't been able to be posted. No. You made the motion. Yeah, you made the motion. You no. said the start time? 730. Okay. 730, yeah. <sighs> Okay, so what are we going to do then with the with the, the board? How do you want to phrase it? Let's make a motion to, to provide it. services not to exceed whatever uh, it feels. It's 250 then, because we're not going to go over three hours. Yeah. It's right? Yeah. 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 All right, so I'll make a motion to um, hire Dave DeBoer to do videotaping of the meeting on the 26th for the Q&A. Um, for two hundred and fifty dollars, not to exceed the meeting, not to exceed three hours. Not to exceed three hours. That's my motion. I'll second it. Yes. 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 Okay, professionals report. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Another thing. You got it. Real quick. Uh, community day. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a. Um, I guess we don't have a site yet. So there's two sites we're looking at. We're looking at. Possibly having it at Thomas Stewart Park, or possibly having it here. The OS committee's got a meeting coming up. Is it next week, Brad? Yes, next week. Hopefully, the OS committee's going to make a recommendation as to where it should be, or whether or not the park's going to be ready. So, we're trying to figure that one out. So, we should know, I would assume, by next week, or the end of July, the latest, we're going to know where community day is going to be. Hopefully, it'll be at the, the new park, but. And the date? What, um, what do you say? Uh, October 6th. October 6th. October 6th. It's October 6th. So we moved it out. You have it on uh, October It's on the uh, website? Yeah. Yeah. Typically, we, we've always done community day, usually like the third or fourth week of September. September. Right. We're moving it out next to, into the first week of October with the intention that we're really hoping to have it at the new park. And just allowing some extra time because there's still things that have to be done at the new park. So we're hoping that extra couple of weeks could make a difference of having it there versus here. So I got Paul. Okay. Uh, professionals. Um, Mike, do you want to go next? Sure. I just want to know, just, um, I'm texting John Grill the 1030 stop line because he's doing the notice, so I didn't want to think I was too Gotcha. All right. John Selma. Did you text him about the notice, too? How we have to notice it? Oh, all right. So we're waiting on that answer? Mm -hmm. Well, you can do it. John may not like it, but you can do it. As long as it's advertising, you're going to have official business there. I don't think he's going to like that, but it's your decision. I mean, he's not going to like a, a hard stop? No, no. no he's talking about, about discussing the, the, the oh, 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 oh. auction stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Uh, if, if you want I was going to say, I think he's going to like a hard stop. That, that meeting, because Joe, you know, unless you guys want more discussion, it's the old three-point hitch roadside home Got it. But the chief had some stuff too, right? Yeah, but he's uh, that wasn't part of Joe's thing, so the chief's doing it separately. Right. It's, a, it's a it's a uh, it's just a moment that can attach us to the back of a tractor. That's all been done and boom. That's not the one he's using to cut that high brush. Over no, there. that's the new one that we have. Not the new new one. No, I'm talking about oh, the old old one. The old new one. The new old. Yes, the old old. Right. It's, so he's not using this one off. It's not the one that he's cutting that high brush over by the new no. sign. I don't think he uses it at all. No, I think it's just yeah, a nice right. shot, actually. I'm okay with it. I, I'm okay with it. I don't know that we have to do anything with it. I just, well, we just needed our, bless, is our blessing, right? We, we need to vote. To, yeah, we're supposed to build a resolution. Okay. The description of the equipment. And so do we have an adequate description. Is that an adequate enough description to meet? So 
Right, we'll it's going to be a motion to authorize, authorize the auction at county auction. And then a pre-test program, just make sure that comes off the voting charge policy. Good one. Actually, I would think that they, they're just sitting now, they should be off already. It's a point where it should be on. No, as long as we own it, it's on. Yeah, uh, I mean, they've been sitting collecting dust now for months. We own it, so. Got it. Okay, Mike, while we're waiting on that answer, you want to? Sure. Uh, <coughs> I want to do a couple of things. Uh, and I'll just throw this out, keeping the plant to seed again. Uh, it's the roadway improvement and the money that the town budgeted, obviously that's not earmarked for anything. It's at the, the, the time being, we're already in July, almost in August, so uh, what we end up doing well, I guess still to be determined. But now we're starting to we'll get to the end of the year, and we're going to we're going to do anything with it. We're really going to need to make the call. And of course, the water main project going slower than at least I thought it would. Uh, it, I don't know if that's going to work out either. So but, um, I'm tying that together. Mike, on the roadway stuff, yeah. you're specifically talking to that that grant. No. To to. No, I, in fact, I'm absolutely not talking about the grant. I'm talking about the $250,000 that you budgeted mm -hmm. for roadway Road resurfacing projects right. for right. 2018. Right. The grant is the grant is off the plate completely because you guys said let's not do the road until the truck traffic is primarily off the road, so that pushes that project for next year. Right. But we didn't think the grant was going to be enough to do that project. Well, right. No, I think year. No, I know until next year. The one yeah. that's going to. Yeah, no, 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 that grant. The, 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 you're speaking of the DOT grant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for our section of Stores Road. Right. Yeah, because they're going to they're going to be paying uh, the apartment contract is going to be paving some of Stores Road. So we're not going to have the entire area to pave. Right. So there's a somewhat of a, a benefit. Right, right. Doing I'm looking at the 250k and that we've used for the last few years and, and made some decent progress, you know, around. Right, and well, we were going to use it up here to start the right. repaving of pay centers, but um, what, right. we, yeah, we just have to make a decision on what's going to be the worst part to fix, and after they're done. Yeah, and uh, I think by next month. I'll know a lot better relative to what their paving schedule is because right now it's all about pipework, of course. And they are getting closer to finishing in pay center, uh, which won't be in August. But, well, no, we'll be done at pay center in August. They won't be out of Greenwich in, until September or October. Well, right now they're basically focused on the water. They haven't even started to attach homes, correct? No. No, so you're still going to be digging up the road yeah, and yeah, such yeah, there. No, so, no. Okay. So, okay, let's again, uh, again, just to kind of throw that out there, uh, the water main project. Uh, to kind of brief and touch on some of that. I gave some, uh, some updates at the end of my report. Um, they, uh, by and large, and I deal with it every day on two fronts, uh, obviously as a, as a resident as well as the engineer. Um, most of the time, they are handling things pretty well. They're being pretty neat. Traffic control can be an issue. Sometimes it gets a little hairy negotiating around all the equipment and whatnot. But by and large, they're, they're doing a, I think, a, at least a better than average job. Um, and, and, you know, there's some you know, tough circumstances uh, in some cases. So uh, that project is obviously going to be around for a little while still. So. Okay, the park. Uh, I gave you, I got rid of a lot, like two or three pages of my report from previous months and kind of just gave you a big long summary of what's going on in all fronts, uh, status, contracts, etc. 
So I don't know if uh, I, as I kind of alluded to earlier, um, I'm more and more hopeful and optimistic that we will have be able to have the uh, community day out there. Things are definitely moving along uh, better than they have. Uh, some more work done today. Paving next week. The water mains connected. We got a lot of things. The good things are happening. I heard the electric got done today. Yep. Transformer box got set. The power still not run yet. No, yeah, but that's done. Because the now did run the line. No, no, they um, don't suck the box. Set the box. Set the box. And, and so, so we're good. Now it's just a question of running, you know, right. four wire basically. Uh, so that was a big step. Um, and tomorrow I, they're actually going to they're going to turn on the water to the concession stand. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited about turning on the water. Um, but again, next week is supposed to be paved. You know, top course done. Uh, Joe's got Joe's already set up and lined up to get the pavering to finish up the walkways. Samson's got a few odds and ends, obviously, to finish up a couple of those change orders that you've seen. Probably the, the brush pile got moved today or yesterday. Good choice, good move by us doing that. It looks so much better. Yeah, I, I didn't see any change orders, but maybe I was out no, of the loop on them. No, they're, they were definitely sent. I, well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry right. if you didn't. I, they, I'm sure they were sent. They were open space committee recommendations. Okay. Uh, I think the brush pile and that was approved. Wasn't that approved yeah. at the last meeting? Yeah. Actually, Paul, let's see. Maybe approved at the last meeting because of what the stone work too, right? Yeah. It's actually in my report too. If you'll go to one of the last bullets, you'll, you'll see I talked about change orders number 21 and 22. Okay. So, well, that's uh, this is summary. I can ask answer any more specific questions if anybody has any. But I, the only other thing I'd say, I think Joe said he was looking to do the walkway paving maybe in the last week of July. No, you're not going to be able. I talked to him just this afternoon. He's he's got he's got also coordinate with the town coordinate with the other towns, and he's got there's vacation conflicts coming up. It's going to be at least two or three weeks. But he did get a call from the whoever he's renting this machine from, and it's back and it's being held. Okay. So there, there won't be any problem with the machine. Uh, I think then the only other thing we have to do to prep for that is the those couple slabs of concrete next to the school. Yeah, we talk, Joe and I talked about that at length today. He's all set what he's right. going to do there. Okay. He hasn't ripped them out yet, but he's, that's going to happen. So, and. And I will say quickly, uh, I was out looking around, this was last Monday, and I actually walked through the tree line into the back of the school, uh, the school, the school property, kind of looking at the brush pile at that point, and I came across three bobcat cubs playing really? in the property. It was, uh, I was like awestruck. And they were so about cool. 100 feet away, and they were jumping around playing wow. with each other. So I kept rolling out all these other animals. Like, it's not this, it's cool. not that. And I said, there's three bob. No. <laughs> no, so I went out and I told you about the animal control report. I'm almost going to chime in then. But Where'd you see that? You walk through the, uh, the open, the, from the, the sidewalk from the park to the school. Right. The trio. Basically, you're, you're in that grass area. You're in the field. If you look to your left, uh, and there's just a big lawn area. They That's were out cool. in the lawn area right by, in front of the You've got to take pictures next time. Uh, oh, I know. By the time I started going <laughs> for my camera they, and my phone, they, they caught me and gone. They were, yeah. But it was, it was them. It had to be them. But in any event, that was, a, that was really a, a, the highlight of my <laughs> Well, um, I hope they don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, it was they were feral cats. Yeah, Mike didn't have his glasses. Yeah, <laughs> feral cats. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Um, Mike, do you have any report for the public? Other than the few Sasquatches I saw. You know what? 
Here, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't go Didn't you see them rubbing their mics out? I just <laughs> where I thought it was. No, but I do have the information, recent enough information, to get a vaccine on the It is a bomb for a 3.8 hedge roadside mower. So we just need a motion authorizing him to submit it to county for All right, and it, it, it's. Bomb for P O M F O R Z. Bomb for 3.8 hedge roadside mower. All right, so let's go ahead and make that motion right now. Uh, we need a motion to send a bond for a three-point hitch mower to the county for auction. Do I make the motion? A second. Yes. 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 Okay, old business. What do we have that we want to talk about? No. Um... Oh, uh, I don't know if it's old or new. I'll ask anyway. well, It's one's the next up. Right. Uh, so the, lab, the new library is opening, I think, August 1st. Uh, that's what I saw somewhere. I don't. Or my wife told me. Um, but anyway, we were going to get space for oh, sure. records there, weren't we? Wasn't that? Uh, I've, there's certainly been chatter about space there. Uh, I didn't know. I think Will anything. probably has a little bit more insight to it than than I do, but I don't know anything right. one way or another. Maybe we could just follow up on that. That was, that was the only other thing I was thinking that we needed to start because. Um, um, Frank, you had something? Did you check your Is that correct? No, uh, that we need to do also, yes. Okay. You want to bring that up? Uh, yeah, the, we need to advertise for a municipal clerk. We already did that. Well, we know, approved it, but it was going to be, it hasn't been executed yet because we wanted to do the clarification of what we were looking for, full and or part time and all of that. I'm not sure whose wheelhouse that fell into. That was, I'm, it's on me to, to do the write-up. Gotcha. So, uh, as soon as you get that write-up, then we can get it to Lisa, and then yeah. she can put it in the paper. Sorry to call you up, but no. <laughs> no, but we did it back in, uh, we made the motion and approved that back in April. April, yeah, no, it's been a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. that's where I saw it in, the, right. in April minutes. Yes, I did see that, too. Go ahead. Um, so, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, Mike, do we do the resolutions one at a time because there are a variety of different subject matters? Yeah, the only thing on the consent agenda is the only thing I would be recommend is that anything where you're spending money, I would pull, pull those out. You know, in the reports, they're easy because you're not spending money. You're just right. Reports, but usually on any resolution, as long as it's not authorizing the spending of money, you know, those I can take out. No, well, yeah. Uh, and the redemption of tax. Well, the redemption is the last two. Two, the last two. Yeah. All right, so. Um, all right, so we have the three resolutions the liquor license renewal of warrant side, a resolution for an off premise draft uh, raffle, which I believe is the Greenwich Gators. Lisa, right? Yes, the Booster Club. Booster Club, okay and an extension of the third quarter property tax grace period. And I'm under the impression that is because the state has not provided Bonnie with all the current information that she needs. The county's the current delay? The county's the current delay. Gotcha. So, all right, with that being said, any comments or discussion on those three resolutions? Nope. All right, with that being said, uh, can I have a motion to approve them, please? I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2018-58, 1859, and 60. Second. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, resolution 2018-61, a redemption of tax liens. Uh, can we have an motion to accept that, please? I'll make a motion to accept resolution 2018-61. Second. 
Yes. 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 All right. Um, here's the big one. Resolution 2018-62, a refund of an overpayment due to a tax appeal. Uh, that's at $299,000 and change that we were discussing earlier. Um, again, Eloise is going to check to see if we can make payments, but, you know, these folks have waited for that for a long time, so I don't know how successful she'll be, but at least she's going to make an attempt to work. So the, so the wording on this says, shall issue a check in the amount of, so that would suggest one payment. So, if, so we're if, just going to hold off on this until... Or can general. you rewrite it so that we can still pass it, that it could be paid in... You say authorized sell and not even reference it. And that way if you can break it up, great. If you can't... Yeah, that's better. How do you want to monitor it? Take the payment. You say uh, authorizing the settlement of it for whatever it is. For the amount. Just don't yep. just take out the wording of the payment. Is it okay to mention the property or for people in the audience who may not know? This, this, can you talk about what this is for? Or what the, is this for? No, no, yeah. Well, I, um, Inland Western is the people who owned it, but the uh, Greenwich Center One, uh, where the Pier One is. Uh, Target and all that up there. Um, back in, as far back as 2008 uh, through 2012, 13, um, they had a tax appeal going um, because real estate values had dropped and they were looking for some tax money back. Um, they didn't get a couple of years and then they ended up selling for more than what they were re asking for. But unfortunately, the Greenwich Township and Eloise are. Uh, tax assessors really done a pretty good job because this number was up around three hundred seventy thousand uh, dollars. She's done a really nice job in negotiating it down to two ninety nine. But the bottom line is we owe it. That's it. You know that's how the property devalued over several years, and this is a settlement that they've made with us after quite a few years of I don't want to say litigation, but certainly dickering around. So um, with that being said, I would like to make a motion to authorize. I would like, uh, we want to make a, a pay or an authorization for the sum and payment schedule not determined. Correct. Correct? Correct. I think you need to adopt this resolution as modifying the now therefore the resolved portion to say she's going to accept the say Chief Financial Officer shall arrange for payment of the settlement of 299.87.74. So that's as a matter. All right. Uh, with that being said, um, can I have a motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Yes. 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 Uh, Recreation Commission updates. No, we are not doing that one. That is, yeah, no, we had to pull that. The police have not, the police department has not finished the paperwork on the subject matter. And we also pulled, which if you look, no, it's not on the agenda, but so we don't even need to go over the other one that we pulled. No, it wasn't on the agenda. No. Which was a different salary or so yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Right. Uh, Recreation Commission updates. Um, I didn't know. They did not have a meeting this month, so I had no update. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, that's the update. Meeting dates for the financial and budget discussion, and without the other two members here, yeah, I think that's going to be going to have to table that. Yeah. Uh, any correspondence? Got mm -hmm. nothing. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to uh, get a motion to open public comment. So I'll make a motion to open public comment. I'll second it. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. And the open co public comments open. Uh, up to it and spell your last name for Lisa. Hi, Robert Gaster from Grove Road, G for George ASH. Um, 
claim about the property is 508 Marlin Farm. It's been vacant for about three or four years now. And the back lot of that property, which is adjacent to mine, has been uncut for that period of time. And it's getting to a point where it's about 32, 33 inches high. I tried to work with the real estate agent. They basically handcuffed me and said that they're only contracted to do about an acre. That's kind of an eyewitness end at this point. So we've cut it multiple years. And it's been cut since then that I've had to pay for out of pocket just because it's been an eyesore. They're just looking for other type of relief. Well, Rob, with that being said, I saw the email last week that came on it. Yeah. I visited the property that day, and the back was cut. Yeah, so I actually had to pay that contractor that was doing it. I had to pay them to cut that back half of it. Okay. Well, I walked back there and I said, well, because I know that Joe Metzi had also spoke to the realtors and said, hey, it either gets cut or you get attacked. So I assumed that that's what had happened and got done. I didn't know that you had cut it. Joe's had a conversation with them, so let's hopefully from here on out that it will be cut to your liking. Okay. Not real regular like, but I'm sure at least, you know. Yeah, as long as they do it once a month. Month, right, right, right. Then I can maintain it like I have. Sure. But they're supposed to cut the property once every two weeks, and the contract's for an acre. The property is well over an acre, so it's not going to get cut regardless unless they modify the contract. Why is that? That just doesn't sound. Why would they only have an acre contract on a lot that's more than an acre? So I did speak with the loan maintenance group, and they get paid $30 to cut that property, and it's literally a cost savings. And I could see why they wouldn't want to be doing more than what they're doing for $30. But the property owner's obligated to cut the entire property. Yeah. So if we have to do it ourselves, then we're charging. No, we're charging. We haven't had to do it this time. And when we get into executive, we'll have a conversation about all of that stuff. I don't expect it to be an issue from here on out. What is the action that I can take to help make that decision? Because it should be cut this Friday on the schedule, and I can guarantee you it won't be. I'm going to take pictures and do whatever you ask. No, I'll talk it over with Joe. You know, it got big time on our radar. Not that it's not been on our radar, but it got big time on the radar this week. Joe and I discussed it, and I thought he gave the realtor an ultimatum about either do it or we're going to come in and do it and put a tax lien on it. So I think the problem has kind of been solved, but I will confirm that with Joe tomorrow, and then I'll follow up with an email to you. That's perfect. Okay. I'll keep my eyes on it, too. You got it. Thanks. One other thing, too. I don't know if he's here, but I just have to commend you guys with the police surveillance that's happened at the school this year. I think every incident that's been matched in public, the most you've had to increase the police presence. I just want to thank you guys for it. It's definitely reassuring as a parent. So thank you guys. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else for open public comment? We had seen nobody. Motion to close it, please. I'll make a motion to close public comment. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 And with that, we're going to go into executive session. Thank you all for coming tonight. Good night. Thank you. Okay.